Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. I just wanted to touch base with you real fast. Um, so I've been noticing that um, I get some orders from clients, anyone, and it's not anyone in particular, it's a lot of clients, um, that I'll get you guys' orders, but I don't have you guys sending me your, um, your questions or what you would like your reading to focus on in the order. Now, I know some of you reach out to me via um, like private message on Tumblr um, or Instagram or, or you know sometimes an email. Usually the email ones, I will double check to make sure that I didn't get a private reading, I mean a private email from you. Usually that's, you know, it's easy for me. But if we talked in like, let's say Tumblr private message or Instagram message, if we talked on those, it's really hard for me to, um, to go back and figure out who you are to your Instagram name or your Tumblr name. Because chances are you're not using your real name with your social media. So that makes it really difficult. And I have noticed that um, if I don't make a note of it, I'm not going to remember. <laughs> and that's just a given. I have a lot of people that I come into contact with on a daily basis, whether it's private message or just people I talk to um, on social media, and I don't remember every conversation I have, especially if we are talking about um, reading options, like things that you want to do. Let me put this chair. Sorry, this chair is like bugging me. <laughs> reading options or um, things that you wanted to do for reading. Um, I know sometimes I have clients who will inquire with me about, you know, oh, I'm I'm looking for a reading like this. What do you, um, what would you recommend? Um, that happens a lot and I love that, but let's say we agreed on a certain reading and I said, oh, you should check this one out. And then you ended up buying it just because we had that conversation does not mean I will remember it a week later when I get to your reading or, you know, two weeks later when you finally make the purchase, that kind of thing. So I understand that we had the private conversation, but sometimes, um, I need to be reminded because like I said, I have so many messages coming in from other people. Um, I do a lot of social networking every day where I like, I like to mingle with my followers and your message will just start falling down, to the, down the list. And I don't have the patience to go through every single message to find which reading connects with what person. So it is so easy for me and it's, it's so much easier on me. If you guys will add your question or your insight, your your whatever it is you want your reading about in the comment section of, or the note section of your order. That is what I always recommend. That's what I always ask my clients to do. Either that or a private email. Um, that's cool too. But it just makes it easier for me um, so that when I'm coming into your order to, to, to read, I go straight to your order and I look and I see, okay, they wrote their note there. I And I read it from my video reading. I'll read it or my email reading. That's what I do. Um, if I don't see a note from you in your order, then I will, then the second thing I do is go to my email. I look at the date that you put your purchase order in and I'll scroll down my email to that date. If I don't see a, an email from you, then to me it's like, okay, <laughs> does this client want a generalized reading? Do they have a question? Um, a lot of my readings require questions. Um, if it's like a three card spread, like a past, present, future, um, I will assume if you don't ask anything, I will assume it's a general question. Um, but it's really helpful if you guys add that in the notes section because when I'm going in to do the readings, it's right there. I just get it done. Um, I have a set time and and a really short time frame when I can film video readings. Sunday mornings are probably the one and only time I have unless people that I live with are miraculously going away during the week, which is very rare. But um, if they're out of the house, I will film. So... <laughs> Sunday morning is like my prime time to film and I hate opening the, the, the opening my reading orders to see that nobody sent a question with their order and then I have to go email you 
And if I don't hear back from you within the next, you know, five minutes, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But if I don't hear back from you right away, I won't be able to film your reading. And then it gets pushed back a few more days to a week, maybe to the next Sunday morning when I have time to do it. So it sucks. Um, I wish that it wasn't like that. I But you guys got to work with my schedule too, you know. So I just wanted to put it out there, you guys. Um, for any reader, I think. I mean, I don't think it's just me. I think it's a lot of readers would, re would be able to um, say, yeah, this would be very helpful that if you are putting in an order for a reading, please, please, please submit your questions or your details about your insight, your what your what it is, whatever it is that is going on um, that you want the reading to be about. To you know, submit that in your order. I think that that would just make it so much easier. I mean, I don't know. That's that's me. Um, or send me an email. But I try my best to. Um, to connect with everybody that I that I read for, but if I'm not able to contact you in in, in, in email, <laughs> if you don't email me back, um, I end up pushing your order back, and and I'll do the next person. So I like to do my orders like as I get them because I feel like that's fair, unless it's one of those instant reading orders. But if you, if I don't hear back from you guys, um, yeah, your order will be pushed back down the list, and then I'll work on the next people because I have their questions ready to go. So, just wanted to put that out there. Um, it's just it's just one of those things that would just make life a whole lot easier. Um, and it's, I just like to be more organized with my reading, so that helps me a lot. Um, but I'm just putting it out there so that if you ever put an order in with me, um, when you go through Store Envy, which is my shop, um, when you place the order, there is a section where you can put a note. And that's where you type your question. That's where you type your concerns, um, all of that. And then also, you can also, I always list in my listings, and it's in my contact form everywhere. Um, it's going to be in the detail section of this video, my email. So you can email me too. So I just wanted to say that. <laughs> um, I hope that that wasn't confusing. Um, but again, if you guys have any questions, leave comments below. I would love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Bye.